probably have heard people say YOLO or you do you kind of movement, that whole woman empowerment. This is before OnlyFans came about. And it seemed really popular still that everybody like run around half naked. It's okay. It's acceptable. And so that's when I jumped into Playboy because I was still I was searching for something and I wasn't finding it in my husband. I wasn't finding it in my children. I wasn't finding it in my family and the atmosphere nowhere. And I felt like, oh, well, if I just become famous doing this, then, you know, I'll get some recognition or something that I'm searching for. Obviously, I know now it was Jesus that I was searching for and Jesus that I needed in my heart to heal me. But at the time, I just didn't know that. And I really stick to Ephesians 1 7, where he talks about that you are redeemed through his blood and the forgiveness of, of our sins in the presence of God's grace. And that is that scripture. I, I don't my mirror for the longest time when I got saved because when you get into that type of industry, either it be dancing or maybe you're an escort or OnlyFans or whatever it may be, you carry that shame with you Mm -hmm. and I when I go and talk to a lot of women because I evangel I used to I don't do it anymore but I was evangelizing at a a local strip club and they they cope with their lifestyle through drugs and alcohol and that scripture you know no matter what you've done we've all sinned we've all fell short doesn't matter if you did if you become a believer today and you end up messing up tonight you're you're forgiven. You repent. You are forgiven, and God will take that baggage from you. He will break those chains. He will take the shame, the guilt, the condemnation that you go through, that you experience, and He will take it on for you. And I feel like a lot of people in that industry, they you have to surrender it. Mm-hmm. You have to fully surrender yourself to the Lord for Him to come in and heal your heart. Because it's not that He takes the band aids off your heart all the hurt that you went through, all the scars, he gives you a new heart Mm -hmm. and a new body and a new identity. Your identity is not, oh, I was a dancer. Oh, I was a nude model. Your identity is you are a daughter in Christ. You are a beloved. And that is, that's like my main message to everybody that's in that type of background is that you, you are redeemed through Christ. Yeah, I love that. Um, I actually heard one of your TikToks where you shared a bit of your testimony and you talked about how like before your reputation, like what your reputation was before, kind of like how you said it never fulfilled you, but yeah, experienced such a fulfillment in becoming God's daughter and how he like how your reputation is now in him. And man, Mm -hmm. like I can so relate to that, like everything you said, like I used to cope with drugs and alcohol to be able to do the kind of sex work stuff that I did. Um, And I didn't like I was so numbed out. I didn't even realize like that's what I was doing. I didn't realize I was coping, um, which I don't know how I didn't realize that. But now that I do have uh, my identity in Christ, I do. I'm so like proud of who I am in him. I can remember before, like just only feeling shame and guilt about Mm -hmm. who I was and like I was never enough I was always like hiding who I really was and those are things I don't carry anymore now that I'm his daughter so I 100% relate to that that same experience yeah